Hi, John here. Today we're going to look at a dry steam type geothermal power station and I'm going to tell you how we generate electricity using only the heat radiated from the Earth's core. So let's go down. We can follow the red and yellow pipes down, down, deep into the Earth and we can see we've got here on the lower part a red area. This red area represents heat. The core of the Earth is estimated to be around 5 to 7,000 degrees Celsius and this heat is radiated outwards through the Earth. The blue area here represents water. Now the water will have soaked down into the ground over a long period of time and it will pass through permeable rock and it will end up in an aquifer or a porous type of stone or in an underground reservoir. And the heat from the centre of the Earth or from the core will heat this water up. And if we're really, really lucky, it's going to turn it to steam, what they call dry steam. The dry steam will enter through these holes in the pipe and will go up, we can follow the steam. As it rises to the surface, it might have to travel one, two or three kilometers to get back up to the surface. And it comes through a valve and along this red pipeline here to a steam turbine. We use the steam then to rotate or to drive the steam turbine and as it rotates it's also going to rotate a generator. That's this item on the end here. As the generator rotates we're going to generate electricity. So when you think about it that's kind of nice. We've used the heat from the earth which we didn't have to pay for. It's heated up the water, it's created steam and all we did was pipe it to the surface, connect it to a turbine and now we're generating electricity. So it's a very cost effective way of generating electricity once it's all set up and it's also classed as a renewable form of energy. Now once the steam has done its work what will happen is we'll need to condense it and we need to return it back into the ground. Some countries dump it into rivers or oceans but most places will return the water back into the ground or back to the reservoir. So let's spin around we can see here these yellow pipes coming out. The yellow pipes come out of what's known as a condenser and the condenser is essentially turning the remaining steam into water. We're using a heat exchanger, that's this cooling tower here and the cooling tower is essentially providing the cooling capacity to cool down the steam, turn it back into water and then we're going to send that back into the ground. So we can see it's going to come out here, it's going to come along here and then it's going to go back into our underground reservoir or back into our aquifer. And that's how this type of geothermal power station works. Just remember this is known as a dry steam type geothermal power station and these are actually quite rare. In some of the future videos we're going to cover some of the more common types of geothermal power stations. Thanks very much for your time. 